As you heard earlier, the special fundraising focus this evening is raising money for the ARC's Abuse Prevention Initiative. This is a topic that most of us don't even want to talk about or think about. Lauren Potter, who plays the part of Becky Jackson on the TV show, the hit TV show Glee, has been speaking out nationwide about bullying and raising awareness of the extent of bullying and abuse by people with disabilities. We are so honored to have Lauren join us tonight. Please put your hands together in welcoming Lauren Potter. Hi, it is so good to be here with you today and beautiful but cold for a California girl. <laughs> Minneapolis, thank you so much the ARC for all you do to help people with disabilities and to erase the barriers we all face every day. And thank you too for this special effort. You are making the ways awareness and put, wait, sorry, and put an end to bullying of people with or without disabilities once and for all. Woohoo! <laughs> Because of people like you, I have been able to live some of my dreams. And today, I'm going to share some of that journey with you. Very, a very long time ago, when I was just three years old, I dreamed about being on stage and being an actress. Now, there were some people told me that I would never able to do it. So, I only pay attention to those who told me that I could. My parents back <laughs> home. Thank you. <laughs> My parents have told me that I was fancy people I could walk, even walk. I've always loved music, so they could would play music, and I would sit up in my playpen and walk out. <laughs> we have some great home movies of that. And I already love the camera. Well, I tried a dance class with difficult kids and learned how to dance. And I had my first recital when I was just three years old. And then when I heard people laughing and clapping, I knew this was good for me. It was what I always wanted. When the whole dance class came back to the stage and sat down, I was the only one to stand out, up, and wave and blow kisses to the crowd. <laughs> That's when I got my first standing ovation. I loved it. <laughs> well, I kept on doing big, which led me to try out for a part on a movie. When I was 16, I got that part and started in a movie called Mr. Blue Sky which is all DVD, by the way. <laughs> I love being in front of a camera. I learned so much of a, wait, yeah, hold on, sorry. <laughs> I love being on the set, being with other actors, and being in front of a camera. I learned so much about acting and about being part of a team. I also learned that being an actor isn't just fun and games. It's very hard work and sometimes very long hours. And in one of these scenes, I had to wear pair pajamas for hours in August when it was 90 degrees. Now that was hard. <laughs> <laughs> but I was in heaven. I just knew this was a job for me. Then one day, I got a phone call from one of my friends who worked in Hollywood. She worked to find actors with Down syndrome for the casting directors. She knew about my dream because I tell everyone about it, and especially my cousin, Mary. <laughs> who flew all this way with me to travel. I tell everyone about it. She said that there was a part of a brand new show called Glee. <laughs> <laughs> I 
boy go with Dallas to, to play the part of a tea leader. Now, I had always wanted to be a tea leader. And even though I tried out for the squad, my high school didn't let me to be one there. So I knew I wanted this job. I also knew I had to work really hard and do a great job because there were 13 other girls trying to tie out for the same part. The casting director, Robert Ulrich, told us that the producers wanted someone who is cute, witty, and also a little bit spunky. <laughs> and it had to be a girl with a dream who wasn't afraid to reach for the stars. The audition was pretty fun. I had to jump rope. But they wanted me to do it really badly. So of course, I did it really badly. <laughs> the Kathy director had to play the part of Coach Sue with me. So he had to act me and yell at me to jump faster, Becky, jump harder. But I knew he was just acting. <laughs> so we had a great time. I was so happy when I heard the news that they had Chelsea, me, to be Becky Jackson. <laughs> oh my God. Well, I'm going to, into my fourth season on Glee, and I still want to be on the show with the other cast members and a great crew, and I still love acting. <laughs> Since being ugly, I had the chance to speak up for other people with dreams. Others who won't listen to people who say you can't do it, to help other people with and without disabilities find their voices and then encourage them to reach for their dreams. Whatever those dreams are, the, the producers of Glee have have given me a wonderful opportunity, and they also have given me a voice to speak out about things that are important to me, and I believe should be important for everybody. Here are the few things I am doing to try to make the, ho the whole world a better place. First, I was bullied when I was a kid. Pushed down, made to eat sand, and called it R word, and I just don't, want any other kids or adults to go through that. So I have been all around the country speaking out in a fight to end bullying. I am also working with Defeat the Label, which is the same group that did We All the World, and here's across America to get all these schools around the country to join in this important cause. This lets other people hear how bullying hurts and kills dreams. And now, I am doing the ARC. And all of you here in this room tonight, we, as we join together to say enough is enough. <laughs> we need to be the ones to wipe out all kinds of bullying in our schools and at jobs and in neighborhoods across America. And second, I spoke in front of members of the U.S. Congress about living in communities where everybody is welcome and everyone can live and go to school and work without facing the fear of bullies or cyber bullies. Third, I was excited to be on a campaign with Jay Lynch from Glee. We have done a public service announcement that tells people to end the use of the R word, like Tim, Tra Tim Trapper says. We are not trying to be the war police. But instead, I try to let people know that some words hurt people and there are other choices because I want to live in a world where people care about other people and try hard not to hurt others with words or actions. <laughs> and 
four. I am on the National Board of Best Buddies, and I am also working with Special Olympics and with the ARC to help people with disabilities become more independent and more included in their communities. I was appointed by President Obama to the prison community for people with intellectual disabilities. I am so excited that the President trusts me to advise him on things that are important to people with disabilities. It is the 50th anniversary of the community, and I am the very first person with intellectual disability to be appointed by the president. <laughs> While playing and working in my very fun dream world, I am also going to college to learn more about life, and about, about leaving more independently, making good decisions, and most importantly, to never, ever give up my dreams and never stop reaching for the stars. Thank you so much for having me here today.